Hello to all of you. I'm honored and it's my privilege today to share with you the Mitagori thought on the PVP, public private partnership in agriculture. Generally speaking, the agricultural industry is typically a, a small and a major and vulnerable sector. It's uh, necessary not for the developing country, but also uh, developing country government uh, do their best to offer their concerted support to the sustainable development of agricultural industry. So it's very important for the government to organize and coordinate all the social resources together. PVP could be the useful and helpful mechanism for the government to achieve the goals of macro synergy. In other words, PVP could be as a stepping stone for public and private sector and as a very competent platform between government and non-government organization. So uh, this so so this morning, uh, this morning today, uh, this presentation will co cover Taiwan, Taiwan's agricultural production, integrity introduction, uh, public-private partnership, and conclusion. Uh, at first, let me start by introducing some background information about agriculture in Taiwan. The aspect, the aspect of economy, uh, total, total domestic agricultural production in 2018 varied, varied at uh, 17 point billion US dollars. Agriculture contributed to only 1.6 percentage of GDP in 2018, but the share increased to 2.3 percentage when including food, beverage, catering, and other industry reliant on agriculture. The, how about the aspect of labor force? About 556,000 persons work as farmers, only 5% of population, and average annual income per farming household was close to 36.6 thousand US dollars in 2018. And half of the value of agricultural production is generated by crop cultivation, uh, with around a third from livestock and fifth from feed from fish. Over the past years, the percentage of Taiwan's GDP represented by agricultural production has declined in line with industrial transformation. Agricultural productive barrier account for less than 2%. Fortunately, the data shows agricultural output is still growing in very tense. And there is there is a lot of competition among all industry sectors. Uh, agrarian and non-agrarian industry has been striving for scarce land resources up to now. The size of farm land has slowly decreased and hectares per farm household st stabilized around one hectare. And how about the Taiwan's, Taiwan, Taiwanese agricultural trade? Agricultural import have been stable about 15 billion US dollars per year, and export has been averaging around 5 billion US dollars. It gives an average negative trade balance for agriculture about 10 billion US dollars. So, in other words, Taiwan could be regarded as a net for the importing country. So
So this is the, the background introduction our our culture in Taiwan. And 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 now uh, I will move on to a company introduction about Metagri. Metagri, a very young and newly agricultural export oriented enterprise. No matter he is a small and media enterprise, is very innovative, active, and stamina. Its non profit trading mission is highly involved and supervised by Council of Agriculture. The Metagri always intermingles with the ministerial authorities on agricultural trade issue. Metagri empowers agriculture industry to be competitive by providing good quality and stable supply to the uh, consumers. Besides, the expansion in emerging export market is also our mission. Metagri combines the strength of all parties to establish a demonstration of a very added agricultural mechanism. With a steady pace, we will gradually inject a new dimension into Taiwan agriculture. And why Metagri is very important for Taiwanese micro farmers in order to overcome the, the dilemma of agricultural development. It's necessary for public and private sector to integrate and deploy various resources efficiently and effectively. It's adopt this to set up of a uh, feasible and practicable mechanism for achieving cooperative partnership on agricultural issues between public and private sector, making agriculture and allied sectors more profitable, ensuring rural po population has a lot larger income to share. Innovation and knowledge are crucial factors for achieving sustainable competitiveness to our culture. So the, our, the Metagri, we are the motivator, pathfinder, and platform for the advanced development of micro, of micro farmers in Taiwan. And why PPP is important? Uh, this session we talk about uh, public uh, private private uh, partnership. PPP could be a concerted bridge between government and non-government. It also can cement social good relations simultaneously. PPP mechanism can narrow down the financial gap by stimulating private sectors investment for our culture. Since the limitation of scarce natural resources is very urgent to improve access to new expertise and technology for micro farmers. So PVP could be the useful platform and stepping stone. Now we move on to the needs of metabolism in macro agriculture. Its uh, flexibility and multifunction are the core competence to be the successful platform. The private sector rules is to make use for, to make use of its uh, expertise in commerce opera operations and innovation to run a business efficiently. Owing to the non-profit characteristics, the Metagri is the escort for small-scale farming and platform of IND to micro farmers. The Metagri's teamwork increased the quality 
and relevance of the result and the synergetic effects to the micro farmers. So now I will move on to the conclusion. Actually, Metagory is a very young, innovative, active, and stamina enterprise in Taiwan. Uh, the system integration of PPP in agricultural uh, development is necessary and inevitable. The idea of PPP in general is the theoretically appealing, but its practical implementation is a challenge uh, with Metagory. I'm sure it will lead to success. So thank you for your attention. Thank you. 谢谢。